So, so my brothers, I just want you to understand, don't take nothing out of proportion and don't think I'm against you. What I'm against is every time I turn on CNN or Fox News or any news is Muslim killing Muslim, Muslim killing Christian, Hindus killing Muslim, Hindus and Muslim killing Christian. This is only a belief and a religion, but we are all human beings. It must come a time that we must draw the line and call on all of you to join hands in solidarity and say enough is enough and let's give love a chance. Let's unite this world. Stop challenging Qatar. Let them develop. And if you, the people of Qatar, by any means or chances, I don't know, for what you've been accused as ceasing terrorists, I kindly ask you, be careful who you finance and what you are financing. Because if a man kills a man, you also help to kill him. And this is not right. But then again, no one must tell you how to live your life. Nor you must not tell others how to live their life. That is why we speak different language. We are from different parts of the world. And we should be united to make this world a better place. Take China. Take Korea. We got a little boy in North Korea every time he's raising a rocket up in the air. But yet, we want to take him out. And we have a right because you never know when he will be trigger happy. But we have friends and allies got more bombs than him, but they don't show it as a display or bring it on carnival or bring it on a parade. That we have to deal with things like this because the world got too many mad men who hands us on trigger should not be allowed to handle this new clear device. And that is why the people of America had elected a president by the name of Donald J. Trump to be strong, conscious, and to put an end to it and to answer the call at any pleasant moment or time anyway. And that we must learn to understand. It is not needed for we to kill each other. When we can save the money, bridge the world of love and unity, and save those who have nothing and educate them. Put food on their table, school and housing. And that is what I think. The teaching of Christianity, Islam, or maybe even Hinduism have taught us all. That is my opinion. But once again, for you the people in Saudi Arabia, you have the world's greatest place where all Muslim comes to Mecca. Do not bring disgrace and shame upon the land of your prophet. Peace be upon him. And you Christian, the same. Do not bring darkness and shame upon the land of Israel or wherever Jesus Christ had walked and preached love. And you Hindus, the same for your Krishna and your Ram. That's all I can offer as an ordinary citizen of the free world. But once again, to the people in Kuwait, long live your freedom. To the people of Saudi Arabia, long live your principal belief of the teaching of the Quran, but not only to read it and speak it, do what it says, stop enslaving people and stop backing gorillas too. Everybody back somebody. Okay? And for you, the people in Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, and all these other Arab countries, let's unite. Let's help the people that are scattering around the world for a better life. Put an end to terrorism. Put an end to dictatorism. And life can go on. And we must enjoy God's world before we blow it up and that is selfishness. Put an end to it. That's all I can ask of you. But leave Qatar alone. And leave Al Jazeera alone. Because we cannot tell the French to close down. They, TV station, nor Russia to close down their own. Why, much less, we must tell a nation to get rid of Al Jazeera. It served their purpose. But if it's preaching the wrong thing, we must oppose them. But you can't tell a man how to walk or how to talk. Thank you very much. And may Allah be with all of you. I'm a friend of the world, not your enemy. Goodbye.